Okay, if you just invested in a new Mac and wanna make the most of it, I highly recommend you check the following 10 essential settings first. Before I start, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed my content and subscribe if you haven't already. First up, customize your dock. It's a key part of your setup, so it's worth spending some time customizing it. The first thing I do is remove any apps I don't use often from the dock. This helps me quickly access the apps that I use the most. To remove apps, simply click and drag them to your desktop until you see the remove text and release. There are also other settings that you can adjust, so just right click on an empty spot in the dock and select dock settings. From there, you'll find plenty of options to tweak. For me, a few settings are non-negotiable. I prefer keeping my dock at the bottom of the screen, but you can move it to either side if it works better for you. I also turn on automatically hide and show the dock to free up some extra screen space. I also turn off show recent applications in dock because I don't want apps I rarely use hanging around and cluttering the space. Next, let's talk about customizing your menu bar, which gives you quick access to important settings without having to dig through the control center. It's super easy. Just drag any feature from the control center straight into your menu bar. I suggest adding Wi-Fi, sound, and focus settings for quick one-click access. If you want, you can also rearrange the icons by holding down the command key, then dragging and dropping them into your preferred order. And if you want to remove an icon, simply drag it out of the menu bar, also holding the command key, and it's gone. Now, before I move on, I want to talk about today's sponsor, FlexiSpot. They sent me their C7 ergonomic chair, and after testing it, I can confidently say it's a fantastic option if you spend long hours at a desk. I've tried a lot of office chairs, and this one stands out for how customizable and comfortable it is. It's a chair that I'm happy to use every single day. Setting it up was super simple, it only took me about 10 minutes to assemble, and adjusting it was super quick too. In just a few minutes, I had it set to fit me perfectly, though you can take as much time as you need to fine-tune it. What really makes this chair great are its standout features. The adjustable lumbar support keeps your lower back supported as you move, which is something I really like. The breathable mesh back keeps you cool and comfortable even during long work sessions. The 4D armrests are perfect for customizing arm support to match your height and position. And the reclining feature gives you a range from 90 to 128 degrees. So whether you're focused or taking a break, it's super versatile. Style. I also love the sleek, minimalist design. It's perfect for any space from a home office to a conference room. Plus, the built quality is top notch. No creaks, no wobbles, just a solid chair that's built to last. If you're looking for a chair that combines comfort, style, and durability, the Frexy Spot C7 is a great pick. If you're interested, make sure to check out the link in the description and huge thanks to FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. Okay, moving on, the Finder is where every productive work session on your Mac usually begins, so setting it up to match your workflow is very important. A bit of customization now can save you loads of time when browsing, opening, or sharing files later. Pay special attention to the toolbar at the top of the Finder window. Many people don't know, but you can tailor it to your needs. To customize it, right-click on the toolbar and select Customize Toolbar. From there, remove anything you don't use, I usually get rid of the Edit Tags option, and rearrange the icons or add spaces for a cleaner look. Next, make it more functional by adding tools like AirDrop for easy one-click access. And while you're at it, there is a feature that is turned off by default, but I suggest you don't overlook, which is the File Path feature. Head to the View menu and select Show Path Bar. This adds a navigation bar at the bottom of your Finder window, showing you exactly where the files you're looking at are. And you can even click on any folder in the path to quickly jump back to it. It's a simple addition that makes navigating your files so much easier. Next up, let's talk about the Hot Corners feature. Hot Corners let you activate certain actions by moving your cursor to a specific corner of the screen. For example, I have my top right corner set to activate the screensaver. This is a great way to stay organized and a quick way to put my Mac in screensaver mode if I need to quickly walk away from it. This was especially true when I worked at my corporate job. 
You can also set hot corners to go to things like mission control, applications window, desktop, put display to sleep, and more. It's incredibly useful for spitting up common tasks and keeping your workflow smooth. Now, let's make a few adjustments to keep your desktop looking neat and tidy. Personally, I don't avoid adding files to it, but I like to keep it organized, so I always enable the stacks. Just right click on the desktop and click on use stacks. I like to have them grouped by kind. And you can also go to view options and can customize things like the icon and text size. Next, if you're using a MacBook or a Mac with a Magic Trackpad, I recommend heading to the system preferences and selecting trackpad to fine tune your setup. First, adjust the tracking speed. I like mine a bit faster than the default because I think it makes navigating quicker and reduces how far you need to move your finger on the trackpad. You can also enable the tap to click option. With this setting on, you can tap the trackpad instead of pressing it down for a click. It's a small change, but I know some users prefer it. I actually prefer having to click. Maybe I just got used to it and it resembles a mouse a little bit more in my opinion, but definitely choose what you prefer. Also, you might have had the experience of opening an audio file only to have it start playing in the music app, even though you never use it. So that's why I like to set the open with defaults on my Mac right from the start. So my files always open in the apps that I actually need. Simply select a file, then press command I on the keyboard to bring up the info panel. Look for the open with section and choose the app that you prefer for that file type. For example, I use QuickTime Player for my audio files instead of music. And then once you've selected the app, click Change All to apply the setting to every file of that type. This is a simple fix that saves you a lot of frustration. And now a quick but life-changing tweak for Safari. By default, downloaded files like movies, pictures, or PDFs automatically open once they're on your computer. And this can be really annoying, especially if you're downloading a bunch of files at once. So to turn it off, go to Safari Preferences by pressing Command comma on the keyboard and click on the General tab. Then simply uncheck the box that says Open Safe Files. Now your downloads will stay put in your downloads folder until you're ready to open them. This is a small change that keeps your workflow smooth and distraction free. Now I highly recommend you disable click wallpaper to reveal desktop. I have it set to only in stage manager because I ended up accidentally clicking the desktop many times and it would drive me crazy. So if you're getting annoyed with this feature as well, now you know how to disable it. And last but not least, personalize the appearance of your Mac according to your preference. Go to Settings, Appearance, and choose between Light, Dark, or Auto. I usually have mine set at Auto or Dark. Go to Screen Saver and choose your favorite, and then go to Wallpaper and choose your favorite here as well. I like to choose from the dynamic ones because they get darker according to the time of the day. And that's it for today. If you found these Mac tips helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.